I just strung up one racket with Head Hawk Power and the other racket with Poly Tour Pro. So I'm gonna go out and test them side by side. So let's go. So I jumped on this play test because I use a lot of head strings in my string business. Um, I do trust head strings, so I want to stay on top of things that they're doing. I was just an early play tester for this string. This is not a sponsored video in any way. These are just some of my thoughts, some of the things I found when I was uh, playing with this string. I strung up another racket with Polytour Pro 17. So I warmed up with Polytour Pro. I got hitting and then switched over to the Headhawk Power. And I think that gives an awesome contrast, right? And you can really feel the difference. I heard this string had a cool sound to it, um, but just listen to it for a second. I tested it in 17 gauge. I thought it looked and played a little bit more like a 125. I know there's a you know, very small difference. That's just kind of what it looked like to me. All right, so Head Talk Power is a round string. And, and what that means compared to, you know, I play with a lot of shaped strings. I know a lot of you guys play with really sharp shaped strings. The good thing about a round string is it's just more predictable. The feel is more predictable. The ball doesn't grab as much and have these sort of erratic, um, you know, catapulting type effects. Another reason why round strings are good is because they don't saw into each other as quickly, maybe, as like a sharp shaped string. The bed doesn't lock as quickly as a shaped string, so you might get a little more playability and comfort possibly uh, in that bed throughout its life. Comment below if you know any pros that play with really sharp, like four-sided or, you know, really sharp shaped strings like, you know, even Hyper-G or, you know, Cyclone or, you know, V-Square or something like that. The first thing I noticed was the launch angle. A lower launch angle means that you can flatten it out a little bit easier. It's just a little easier to sort of control the, the flatter trajectory of the ball. Now I strung this up at 45 pounds along with the Poly Tour Pro, and I thought at 45 pounds, Head Hawk Power has nice control, right? Because sometimes at those lower tensions, it can things can get away from you. Um, things can catapult. It still had a firm feel to the bed. Um, which was good, it held together nicely, and I still felt like I had some really good control at 45 pounds. One of the biggest things I noticed coming out of the gates was a big sweet spot, just like when I think of Alu Power. And what a big sweet spot means for me is that you can just kind of wail on it, right? You don't have to worry as much exactly where the contact is. You can just kind of wail on it, and that is a cool feeling. You can see here in this footage, I'm just kind of smacking it around. I'm, I'm not like going for crazy control. We're doing ground stroke points. So let's let's talk about spin. Um, this is not a high spin string. It just isn't. Um, and neither is something like Alu Power. It's not a crazy spin string in the whole you know, spectrum of polys. I think this is geared more towards advanced players because the the more intermediate players are gonna they're gonna want a little bit of extra spin is what I find. And so like Polytour Pro has to me way more spin feeling string than this. The spin wasn't very impressive on this string compared to something like Polytour Pro. And like I said, the string is, has in general, has a muted feel to it. Um, you know, not too crisp, not too mushy. Um, but one thing I did notice that is sort of similar to Polytour Pro is it has a little bit of that springy feedback that Polytour Pro is kind of known for. I found a little bit of that in the string, not too much, but just a little bit where it has a little bit of power. Um, Thought the pocketing was pretty average. Um, so this is gonna be geared towards advanced players that don't need 
they can generate their own spin. And I think you know, the playability and just the consistency is what's gonna you know, be good about this string. It didn't, nothing jumped out at me so much about this string compared to some others. Um, but you know, th that's probably because I tend to go for strings that are you know, sharper, flashier, crazy colors, um, and you know, are so slick and just have so much power and like stuff like that. I just tend to gravitate towards those kind of really high, high, high performance strings. But it was fun. It's, it's it's definitely fun to kind of bash around with a new string like this and just kind of see what it can do, right? You know, I hadn't I hadn't reviewed a string in a while, so it was good to, to kind of be back and, and just kind of be thinking in that mindset. Um, I guess what sparked me is, you know, recently I picked up, I you know, played in a tournament, and I was just like, hey, let me throw in, I'll throw in a fun string. I'll throw in Hyper G for the tournament, and or just for the first match, for the first round, and I ended up sticking with it for the whole tournament and I, I was like okay so I picked up some Hyper G Soft and then I picked up some other strings and then boom Head Hawk Power so and it's been fun again to talk about strings um, you know I got some new blog posts on the website if you, you guys like to read about strings I got some new stuff and I just want to share some of my thoughts with you guys um, I hope everybody out there is doing well um, as always if you have any questions feel free to email me um, and uh, also check out some of the match play videos I posted uh, recently. Um, that's pretty much what I've been focused on is, is match play, just improving at tennis, getting better. And um, that has been the most fun thing for me right now. Obviously Head is one of the top companies and I'm sure people are gonna jump on this. It's always exciting when, when a company like that is releasing something new, it seems like they have something going on. Um, but I think this one is going to be for the advanced players. So keep that in mind, and uh, I hope everybody out there is having a good day, and I will talk to you guys soon.